So, uh, uh, hello, I'm Sean Roberts, Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network, and this is Lincoln Shorts. I have with me Aaron Ackerman, Executive Director of the Ohio Association of Elections Officials. Uh, welcome, Aaron. Um, we're doing some uh, podcasts specifically from the point of view of the voter. And the question that I wanted to ask uh, uh, Aaron is, uh, what should the voter do if the, uh, I was going to say voting center, but in Ohio's case, it's more of a polling place, but I guess um, you can explain this. Um, what if, if the polling place is congested, um, what are your options in Ohio? Yeah. So I, a couple things that we've been talking about in Ohio, Sean, it's lines are going to look longer than they actually are this year, right? Because of social yeah. distancing. So you uh -huh. could show up and there could be a line out the building and you think, oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. When in reality, it might, there might only be 10 people in front of you. Uh, and it's just that for social distancing reason, reasons, you know, the line looks longer. So we're really encouraging voters to keep that in mind. Um, but if you do show up and you're, you're time constrained, you know, what we're really trying to recommend, even in, in, in Ohio, which is a swing state, and there's a lot of activity on election day, um, try to show up if you can at non peak hours um, to your voting location. So Right when we open at 630, there's almost always a line. Lunchtime, you know, when people are taking their lunch break, they tend to go vote. And then right after work, so 5, 530 until the polls close at 730, you can get some congestion. So if at all possible, we really recommend that you try to avoid those peak hours. If you can't avoid those peak hours, you know that's going to be an issue. Uh, try to vote at the Board of Elections early. We have 28 days in Ohio of early in-person voting and including nights and weekends. So if you're concerned about lines on election day, take it upon yourself to just get out and do it early. And of course, we always have vote by mail in Ohio. You can request a ballot. Uh, you will, I guarantee you won't have a line uh, if you vote from your kitchen table. So that's another viable option. All three are good, um, but if you're concerned about lines, really consider voting by mail or going to the Board of Elections ahead of time. Okay. Uh, so day of, is that still an option going to the Board of Elections or do you expect there to be congestion there? So if I... Day, day of, you're not allowed to vote at the Board of Elections. You oh, have to you have to go. Yeah, okay. so, um, you know, so that's why you really have to um, kind of plan, you know, we say plan your election. You know, think about what your options are. If you know that on Tuesday, November 3rd, you're only going to be able to go before work. You're only going to be able to go at, uh, at your lunch hour or you're only going to be able to go after work maybe consider one of those two alternatives. Try to plan ahead and really um, not put yourself in that position of finding yourself in a long line, um, unless you know that you're able to kind of wait it out. Okay, excellent point. Now you did mention um, voting by mail um, in Ohio right now, and perhaps it's different county by county, but um, what would be the latest that you could request um, a uh, vote by mail ballot and still get it back? So in Ohio, under the law, you're allowed to request a ballot up until noon on Saturday before the election. We are wow. definitely recommending you do that because, candidly, if you wait until that moment to request a ballot, you're, you're not going to get it and get it back to us in time for it to be counted because it has to be postmarked the day before the election in Ohio. So we're recommending that you get those requests in no later than one week before the election. Okay. And really, 10 days would be better. And if you've seen the post office is saying try to do it 15 days beforehand, Okay. Um, so again, part of that kind of making your plan, plan to request your ballot early. We're accepting applications right now. Um, voters in Ohio have been mailed multiple absentee ballot requests by multiple people, including the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. Fill one out. It's real simple. We'll get it in soon. We can process it. We'll get you your ballot starting actually tomorrow, um, which is October uh, 6th here in Ohio, and you'll have a long time to vote it at that point. Would I be able to drop off my absentee ballot at the elections office or would I do it at the polling place? You can, you can drop it off. In fact, you can only, you cannot drop it off at the polling place on election day, but you can drop it off at the board of elections. We're open, you can come inside uh, right. or there's a 24 hour uh, remote access drop box that's located at every board of elections. Every county in Ohio has, uh, has one and you can do that. Excellent. Okay, well, this is very informative. Thank you, Aaron. And this yeah. has been Lincoln Shorts.